Hey, that's Mike and Holly, Alex, Eddie, and Chelsea. Okay, so the bed has been slept in. Chelsea slept in her bed. She didn't stay in it all night, but, and look, she's got, so she got this little nightstand with it, and she's been busy lining up her toys on top of the nightstand. That's what she likes to do, is line up her toys. What do you think of your bed now that you slept in it? I know, I bonked into your toys. Is it super comfy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And mommy even cleaned up your room, put toys away. So, my toys are she's got toys under her bed. I moved this stuff she plays with all the time, so I left that I'll here. The toys in. Okay, and then we need to work on this. <laughs> that's the only mess that's left. I cleaned up everything that was on the floor. She's got just one puppy under the bed over here, her little puppy surprise puppy. I cleaned up all of this, put her baby dolls in their crib, put the wardrobe and the American Girl stuff over here. She plays with this stuff a lot, too. Anything she plays with a ton, I left out. And then a lot of her like plushies, stuffed animals are under here. And then the bottom two drawers are still empty. And then she put uh, Shopkins and the little toys in here. So anyway, now we just gotta work on getting you to sleep in it all. Okay, you guys, Eddie is getting groomed today. Our groomer, it's so nice. Our groomer comes to the house. It's a mobile dog grooming place. And he's just a really nice guy and I've been using him pretty much since we moved here and he always does a really good job. So Eddie is getting shaved like he always does. His hair is so thick and long and it's gonna be like hot now. So um, about every few months he needs to be done. Actually, it seemed, it feels like we just had it done and I'm trying to remember when it was. I guess it doesn't really matter. But anyway, the guy is here now and Eddie is getting shaved. And then as soon as he's done, then I'm gonna do my, ha my regular house cleaning. It feels so good, you guys, to have gotten a good night's sleep in our, in our own beds. Um, Chelsea slept really good last night. She slept in her bed for like half the night and then the other half she's like, mommy, I wanna snuggle with you. And I get it, she's tired and hasn't been feeling good or whatever. Um, but it's just so nice to sleep in our own beds and kind of get back into our regular routine. So anyway, yeah, today is my house cleaning day and when you guys see Ed in just a few minutes, he's gonna look totally, totally different. <laughs> all right, there he is all shaved, looking dapper. And he gets one of his, whoops, he gets one of his good bones for being a good boy. His coat was so thick, oh my gosh. And he just looks so nice and clean shaved. Looking good, Eddie. You look like you lost five pounds. <laughs> so I wanted to start the day off by saying, <laughs> uh, I know you guys are probably watching the vlogs and notice the time difference. The vlogs have been kind of going up at wacky times than they normally do. Part of that was because of vacation. Part of that because the first night we had no internet and I had to wait almost an entire day to upload the video. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna switch our schedule up a little. So vlogs are gonna start going up um, four hours later than they used to. So they used to go up at noon our time. So they'll go up at like four o'clock in the afternoon. That's Eastern time, so you may live in a different zone. So just four hours later, and then the toy video is gonna go up early in the morning, like when the vlog used to. Uh, just for now, I might switch it up again, I don't know. <laughs> uh, did you even get very much? You weren't gone very long. No, I, I really didn't, because- We didn't really I'm know. Just, uh, yeah, we didn't know what to get really. Necessities. Yeah, Michael's been home for a few minutes. I was vacuuming and then he had some other things he was doing real quick. So, drippy drippy. Chicken. Tyson. Yeah, I didn't get the last kind. We bought those individually packed ones. I realized there's only five pieces of that. Yeah, you don't really get much thin. of those, yeah. So, if you put in the best. work, yeah, if you put in the work and bagging them up yourself, you save money. Bread. Oh. I didn't get this because they didn't have my weight. Well, Alex will be happy. She doesn't like that white kind. Alex, one of barbecue chips. Big Lay's. Those are so good. This is what you have to have. You have to have oh, okay. apples. That's fine. Because for whatever reason, that's all they have. Huh. That's all right. So this should be okay. I'll eat them. Frozen steamed broccoli. We are having... We'll see you in a minute. <laughs> Alex bagels. wanted bagels. Chelsea will eat them too. I buy the refrigerated ones. You know, you can buy the fresh 
Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't say fresh, but like in the bread section, of that seems to last longer. They do. The other ones would get moldy or stale. Here in Florida, everything goes bad fast. That's for me. That's for me. Mommy needs to. As fast as we would hope. Uh, mommy's um, wanting to get back on track with eating healthier food now that we're home. I'm guessing that's not for you. Then. No, that's for Chelsea. Hot dogs. Uh, so mommy. mommy. Oh, did you get turkey? I hope. I did not. It was not on the list. Uh, well, it wasn't on the list because there were some in there, but it went bad. Okay, so I'm switching it up because we've had that one cooked up chicken a couple mm. times in our mouth. This is pretty good too. We've already had This them. is the chicken Florentine farfalle or whatever that far, farfalle. It's water. Like, I feel like it's that kind of water. <laughs> it's pretty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it is. Tropicana. Oh, oh yeah. For a whatever oh, yeah. night. So I got this. So they do make sweet and sour. Oh, we're gonna try. We like this Innovations yeah. brand, and they make sweet and sour. We had sweet and sour. We went to the Panda Express. We didn't vlog it. Well, that's right. So we went to Panda Express while we were there in California. They got the sweet and sour. I haven't had sweet and sour chicken. I don't know forever. So I forgot my my thinking is like it's candy sweet. That was really good. That was really good. So we're going to try this. So it's the same concept where you get the chicken bits and then the sauce comes in a packet. So if we don't like the sauce, we've got backup general <laughs> in there. Yeah. To try. That innovation stuff is really yummy. Oh, yay. Okay, they are tiny. <laughs> There's no in between this big. size and this size. Yeah, they're, they're either too big or too small. So and I'd rather give them the smaller ones. Yeah. Because what we were getting was the medium size and then breaking them in half and it was just a pain. So I was like, get small ones if they have them. Cocoa Pebbles, that's for Alex. She was like last minute putting stuff on the list today. Oh, rice to yeah, have. Uh, okay, it's a new brand only because it was cheaper. We well, get the not... jasmine rice, which is like Thai rice. Oh. So good, it's got such a good flavor. So that's for the to go with the sweet and sour tonight. Mac and cheese. Alex, spaghetti and meatballs, Ooh. gross. <laughs> it's good, but man, it's just. We can't eat so it because it wrecks our stomach. <laughs> uh, tuna, that's for me. Ish. Well, and Michael. Oh, yes, okay. salsa. Yummy. We need a new salsa. It's Walmart brand. Like, it's in their market. It's in like, their fresh. It's like stuff. their produce section. Yeah, yeah a and it's sweet. so good, though. It tastes sweet. like restaurant stuff. So that's for Mame. That is it. That's it. Well, yeah, that's still I mean, kind of a lot. a lot. And we're still trying to get back into the groove, so. Yeah, so basically, like, we just didn't even know, like, what to do for dinners and stuff like that because we've been gone for a week. And then with um, Chelsea being sick, and my stomach's been queasy since Saturday. So I'm, like, not eating very much the last couple days. Like, I didn't eat much at all yesterday, and I haven't eaten much today just because I feel kind of like, ugh. So I think. Uh -huh. Stomach's fine. It's just when we go on vacation, it really throws off like our eating schedule, and we tend to not eat as much. So yeah, so it was just kind of the basics and some healthy stuff. So that is grocery Monday for this week. So just got done cooking dinner, and we're just about to eat. And we were gonna do that Innovation sweet and sour chicken tonight. Um, okay, so here's the packet. It's very bright orange. <laughs> it does not taste anything like what we had at uh, Panda Express. No. It, it, it tastes more like orangey, like orange sauce than it does like sweet and sour. So luckily <laughs> we had backup general packets because they usually throw a couple in the bigger boxes and we always just have one extra. So I'm not a fan, like the, their chicken is still good. This Innovation chicken right there. The chicken itself is so good, but the sweet and sour just isn't what I was expecting. <laughs> Out of the sweet and sour. <laughs> this is the one we normally That get. is the best. The sauce so is you good. No. And it says spicy. I guess it is a little it bit is. spicy. It is. Well, we yeah. sweat. <laughs> um, this stuff is amazing. We've been getting it for years. This is the huge family size one, which I recommend because we eat it. What's that? Now, what? Okay, yeah. So it's, it is the same tempura chicken. It's the same chicken. You get it's the same this, chicken in it's both. It's this Innova Asian. 
<laughs> is what it is. And then the girls will eat the chicken just plain, like chicken, and nuggets. it's really good that way. It's like, <laughs> it's like a crispy chicken, like nuggets. So, but Michael and I like the sauce because it's kind of got yep. that heat to it. An opinion on this one. Some people might like their sweet and sour chicken that way, so you still might liked... like it, but well, I would, we got that stuff at Panda Express, it and was good. Yeah. I don't know, it was sweet and sour chicken, but man, that, it was so good. I'll say it's just not it. I've never liked sweet and sour Me myself, either. but when we got that at Panda, I was like, I didn't say anything because Michael ordered it, and I was just like, whatever, I'll try it, because I had ordered what I wanted to try, and it was really good, but yeah, yeah. The, I'm back to like, no, I don't like it, okay. unless it's the panda kind. <laughs> so yeah, we'll just stick with the general kind we get, um, but some people might like the sweet and sour. What you doing, Ed? Hmm? It's time for the question of the day. You look like a real dork right now. Because <laughs> he's got like extreme close-up and... Did you show him their... Did you see his really tail? Funny. <laughs> his, his Alex is having a fit. Look at how they shaved his tail. It looks really funny. <laughs> did you notice that, Michael? Oh, no. my goodness. You know what? It won't matter because in like a week, he always looks like a real dork for the first couple days. And then like next week, he'll look totally... It'll grow out and he'll look normal. It's time for the question of the day. Today's question comes from Super Sisters, and the question is, what is the worst part about going on vacation? <laughs> worst part about going on vacation. I'm, uh, still getting sick. But that doesn't happen every time. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, come back to me then. Probably going on a plane and just for this trip, we had to sit on a plane for like five to six, four to six hours. It wasn't that. It was like four and a half. Was it? No, it was only four coming home. And it was only four coming home, yeah. Was it? it yeah. It felt like it was longer. You said like four to six hours before we got on the plane. No, it was four and a half. I'm still going to say that's the worst part because we had to fly like all the way across the country, basically. Which so. is so funny because you just like play on your Diaz or read. I know. Which is the what. The whole time I'm yeah. suffering. And let me Suffering. tell you, my shoulders and my back still hurt from sitting like that yeah. in those uncomfortable chairs. Yeah, the seats aren't exactly very comfortable. And <laughs> I was hurting like the whole time. It was awful. Yeah, and I know. And I've been sitting for literally the whole day, so. Mm. That's the worst part is having to actually get from place to place and having to sit in the car for hours and having to sit on a plane for hours. Well, we had good scenery, though. Somebody wants me to scratch yeah, them. Yeah, that's true. We had good scenery. Could have been worse. <laughs> Um, I'm actually surprised that neither of these two are going to say the same answer as mine, which is not being able to sleep in my own bed. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I cannot sleep unless I am in my own bed with my pillow. I just can't sleep very well. And especially like hotels, sometimes it can be noisy. Like you'll hear other, not like noisy, noisy, time, but it wasn't this time. It was actually pretty quiet. But like you can hear other people opening and closing their door or walking up and down the hallway or whatever. You know, some people let their kids run around in the room screaming. This time we actually got lucky and didn't have any of that issue. But there's something about being able to sleep in your own bed. It was so nice to come home and climb into my own bed with my own yeah, pillow. And with me, I can't sleep sitting up, like at all. No, I can't either. So and like forget sleeping on the plane. The or... person on the way home from the airport in the car that was snoring in the front seat. <laughs> Yeah. I did notice there was oh, one time that you I were like passed out. Once, but that was because I was so tired. I think I think when we were driving through um, the Mojave, you did too. Yeah. I, I, think I, I looked asleep. in the mirror because she was in the front seat. I was in the back the of Chelsea. Is, though, I and asleep. she's like. <laughs> I fell asleep for like 10 minutes at most because yeah. I can't, I can't stay asleep. If I do fall asleep, it's like. Yep. I'm the same way. <laughs> I can't, I so envy people that can sleep on the plane or sleep in the car. The guy next to Alex on the plane had his head up against the seat in front of him and he's like Yeah, and so did his wife. And like, his wife had her head on the tray table and she's sleeping. I'm like, I cannot sleep on the plane or in I the did car. That, but I, what you I did, did that. I stacked our backpacks up and yep. then like punched down over the backpack. And I gave you our jackets and everything. Yeah. Michael had all kinds of, okay, yeah, so what's your answer now uh, then? Well, yeah, the, not sleeping in your own bed. Hotels in general, I'm not a big fan of because it's not your own bed. Noisy people. Yeah. Um, we got lucky though. I think the resort, the resorts the are quieter. Have anybody upstairs? Yeah, they're always quieter. Out. So. And so yeah, I guess that's. 
I had a good answer. <laughs> a lot of things I don't like about traveling. The air travel, security. It's getting there. If we could just teleport and do whatever, that'd be great. But oh, I wish. Like the whole time on the plane, I was like, I wish we could just be there. And yeah. Not do this. And the thing is, we were flying until like what, 5 a.m. our time. So it was like 2 a.m. Well, yeah, time. it's hard when you have to fly through the middle of the night like that. So we want to know from you guys what is the worst part about going on vacation. Tell us in the comments below.